everyone, I'm Lindsay, the book lady for tonight. I am very excited for the party. I think Christy is going to earn lots of free books. You guys have been wonderful in our acting, which I greatly appreciate, so thank you very much. I'm gonna get started by just showing you some of the books I've recommended, as well as some of our favorites. So let's get going. The first book I'm going to show tonight is One, Two, Three Counting. So this one I recommended to Amanda and Christine. Um, it is really great for any infant age child, but the younger the better, in my opinion, just because it can be used for tummy time. I'll show you why. Um, high contrast colors for those little ones to see very clearly. This is a fun little book as it folds out. Um, very long as you can see um, but it folds out and it'll actually stand up um, great for tummy time um, I know tummy time was not a favorite in our house so get myself all twisted up here <laughs> um, this would have been wonderful had I known about it to give him something to look at and also you can use it down the road to learn some numbers um, this book is $7.99. There is also one called On the Farm in the same series. It is currently out of stock. This one is not, however, so if this is something you're interested in, I highly recommend it. The next book I wanted to recommend is one that I have on Christine's list. This is called Little Leaves. There is also Little Waves, which is the one I recommended. This Little Leaves one is out of print. I'm not sure why because I personally love them. So if you are interested in this one versus the Little Waves, Christine, I am more than happy to send this your way. They come with a little snap, which is great. You can easily snap that onto the car seat so that it doesn't get thrown on the ground. This first page is crinkly. It's a completely cloth book with bright little animals as the pages get bigger. I think it's just super simple and super cute. Love it for those brand new babies. It can go in the mouth, it can go in the wash. It's great. The next books I want to show you are, are a couple from That's Not My series. I currently have That's Not My Llama and That's Not My Tractor that I'm going to show you right now. These are $9.99. There are over 60 titles in these books and a lot of them also available in Spanish. So very great for everyone across the board. Um, they start out recommending at nine months but honestly that's not my tractor i got as a baby shower gift and i absolutely loved it i didn't even know it was esborn i didn't even know what esborn was at that point in time three and a half years later this is still one of my son's favorite books he can read it along himself and then he can also talk about the textures so let me show you what they're all about so it goes through the book that's not my tractor its trailer is too rough and you can feel the texture of the rough trailer. That's not my tractor. Its funnel is too smooth. So I really like these because kids are getting their fingers on each of these pages. You can feel the different textures and associate the words that go with them. Lots and lots of greatness in these books. That's not my tractor or that's and then the end says that's my tractor. Its headlamps are so shiny. Um, these are great. I love the different textures. Like I said, super fun, very thick board pages. So you're not going to damage these. They will last forever. Highly recommend. The next book I want to show you is our Don't Tickle the Hippo. These come in Don't Tickle the Tiger, the Bear, the Dinosaur, and the Lion. Um, they do have an on off switch on the back and the battery pack. Uh, very easy to flip on and off. Let's turn her on. These books go for $19.99. Don't tickle the hippo. You might make it snort. Don't tickle the parrot. You might make it squawk. These also have textures to them. So they're nice and soft, easy to play with. Don't tickle the bear. You might make it growl. It goes through all of the different textures with the animals. At the end, there's a little button. If I can find it. 
and you hear all the animals from the book. Like a little song of the baby. My son thinks this book is absolutely hilarious. Highly recommend. Great for gifts from our young ages up until probably four-ish. I would say they'd start to outgrow it, but lots of fun. I specifically wanted to show Tiana this book. She said that she loved Animally, and this is one I mentioned that we had also for her to check out. It's called Once Upon a Timely. This one is very similar to Animally, where it goes through and it says, I love you like this or that. Um, Once Upon a Timely does it with fairy tales. So I love you like Rapunzel's hair. I love you like, or I love you sweetly like Hansel and Gretel. I love you transformatively like the frog prince in the pond um it goes through and there is a ton of these the pages are a little thicker than paper but not quite as thick as a board book um awesome very sweet loving just feel good kind of story the next one i want to show you amanda i know i recommended this for you and if i didn't recommend this and you love it I highly recommend it. This one is called Different. It is $7.99. It is all about a flamingo who has different traits as everybody else. Flo never joined in. She felt like she was too different. My beak is too big, Flo thought. She goes through and then they, her friend's beaks are amazing, said the other birds. It goes through and she says things that she doesn't like about long necks. The giraffe tells her it's fun. The feathers, feathers are bright and fun. Um, it's all about inclusivity. I can hardly say that word, inclusivity, inclusiveness. We'll say that, um, but awesome, great book, a great way to talk to kids about how being different is truly a good thing and not a bad thing. Amanda and Rachel, I also recommended one similar or this exact book. Um, this is Scaredy Cat. There is also one called Steady Sloth, Grumpy Tortoise, and Cautious Chameleon. These books are $7.99 a piece. Very cute if you have kids that are, I have a scared child, a very anxious child. So I got this book to try to help with that. Who scares Scaredy Cat? These birds do. It's okay, scaredy cat. They're just having a dance party. So it goes through. My son also likes to reread this. Um, he remembers the words for the most part. Um, but I just love, again, the thicker pages, not quite board book. Um, but it tells them it's okay. These things happen and then the good positive side to the things that they're scared of or worried about or etc cetera, etc cetera. awesome books great for a young age this is one of our lift the flat books we have a lot of these books um this is just one of them so very interactive these are a great way to have kids learn without realizing they're learning this one is about the abcs we are working on our abcs being three and a half so these go through and there are over a hundred flaps in this book. Um, great for their little fingers. They go in order. I love this page um, specifically because there's letters missing. Rec you know, highly uh, teaches them to kind of fill in the blank. This next page is all about sounds. So dog starts with a D, eggs with an E, um, and then they flip it and it says, this one says, can you see something this picture in this picture that starts with each of these letters? So you want to search for something with an A. It's the apron. Mm. They just go through and there's different activities on each page, which makes the book fun, interactive. Also, they love little flaps. I know my Weston does. I feel like it's just a kid thing. So these books are $13.99. Um, I think they may vary in price depending on the lift the flap, but um, great way to teach our young littles um, all about 
certain subjects. This book is the Big Book of Tractors. We have these in all sorts of different um, titles. They vary from Wonders of the World, Wonders of the US, Big Book of Tractors, Big Book of Big Trucks, Dinosaurs, you name it, we pretty much have it. These each have four giant fold-out pages. So this one in particular will show you kind of the overlay of what's to come. And it also gives you little blurbs about each tractor and their pieces and what they do. And then when you open it up, it gets nice and large, as you can see. Four giant flaps, probably about a standard page width each. Um, in each of these, my son loves these because they fold out to about his size, if not larger. I'll turn them up and down so you can see. And what's better than loving something and then having it just giant? Kids get so excited about things that are so big. Highly recommend $14.99 for these books. Lots of fun, lots of information. Life Size is a book about just that. Life size versions of different animals or parts of animals. This one is the generic one. This is a life-size version of an elephant foot. A life-size version of a polar bear paw. So they can put their hands up and see how, just how giant these bears' claws are. There is also a life-size dinosaur. I love this one because we've always pretend to be the toucan. <laughs> um, I also learned things in this book. I did not realize that the giant squid, this is just its eye. It is massive, a massive size animal. And then in my favorite part in the back, you get a description in comparison to the book. So back here, they tell you that a giraffe head to toe is up to 18 feet. This book is 12 by 12. So if that is 18 of these books stacked on top of each other. You thought the giraffe was big? The giant squid is up to 60 feet. Isn't that crazy? I had no idea. I would not want to come across a giant squid. I think I would probably have a heart attack, to be honest. <laughs> Lots of fun. The dinosaur one is just as great. These books are $16.99, highly worth it. Lots of cool facts. Rachel W., this is one I recommended for you. Lots of fun. This book is one of our more expensive books at $24.99, but you'll see why in just a second. These also come with a busy helicopter book, a busy Santa book, a busy car book, or a busy bug book. This, oh, this is the busy car book, sorry. The busy train book is the other. They have a nice little plastic cover and you can pull out this little car or bug or Santa. And then if you open the pages up, it tells you the busy car drives around behind some stores, across the crossing, around the circle, past a bus station, and beside a park. So these, if they're laid somewhat flat and you back them up, they actually drive along the track. If you're like my son, he just loves the car. He will drive it around on the track here, but he also will just play with it separate. There are several of these tracks to go through. Um, if these little vehicles get lost, which I definitely thought about, I can get replacements of just the vehicles so you don't have to replace the whole book, which I think is genius because I'm not going to pay that much for another book just to get the car. So, love these. The next book I'm going to show you about is our Nibbles, the book monster book. This is a series that I have fallen in love with. Nibbles, this book in particular, is the reason that I became a consultant. I also fell in love with the looks of this book before I even received it, knowing that my child was going to absolutely love it. It is all about a little monster named Nibbles. Nibbles likes to nibble on all sorts of things, but his favorite thing to nibble on is books. He nibbles his way into three of our most favorite 
fairy tale type stories. The first, he nibbles his way into Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So you can see the little holes and there's a book inside of the book. This goes through a very condensed version of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, nibbles nibbles out of it and into Little Red Riding Hood. He nibbles his way in this, takes Little Red Riding Hood's cloak and then nibbles his way out into the next book, Jack and the Beanstalk. He's nibbled off the corner here. He escapes with the golden goose. The golden goose takes Nibbles back to his cage, drops him in there. We quickly close this. And then it says, don't take your eyes off of Nibbles, not even for one second. Nibbles to gnaw. Oh no, Nibbles, not again. So Nibbles nibbles his way out of this book and onto another. There is Nibbles the Monster Hunt and Nibbles, um, I'm not sure if it's called Nibbles, but it's a dinosaur version of Nibbles. There are also now two smaller Nibbles books. There are Nibbles numbers and Nibbles colors. The original Nibbles books are $16.99. I think they do vary in price. These little ones are $11.99 a piece. So same thing. Nibbles loves to nibble through his book, so he's nibbling through this one and through the numbers up to 10. I love that each page has that many holes. It can uh, double as an interactive piece for our kids. I have Weston count the holes and identify the number for me. He nibbles his way out of this book and into another. The numbers is or sorry, the colors book is the same type of thing. Nibbles gets out and nibbles his way through the different colors and in the end ends up creating a rainbow after he nibbles off the corner of each color book. Lots of fun. There's also a Nibbles blush. Um, I had to go searching for him because he was hiding amongst all of Weston's toys in his playroom. Weston usually or Nibbles usually sits on our bookshelf so he can nibble through our books. This is also a new release that we've gotten just recently. This is called One, Two, Three, Do the Dinosaur. This is a fun book. I absolutely love reading rhyming books. I feel like they're so much easier to read. They flow. It started long time ago, the middle of the jungle. The ground began to jiggle and to wriggle and to rumble. A dinosaur called Tom tapped his a rhythm on a tree and he beckoned all his buddies shouting, come on, copy me. The, he stood up on his tiptoes and he slashed his giant claws. We open wide, he shouted, let's all chomp our dino jaws. Chomp, 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 let's do the dinosaur. One, two, three, and everybody roar. It goes through and adds the swishing of the tail and the one, two, three, let's do the dinosaur one, everybody roar is on kind of the end of each one. Well, they end up and they decide they're getting too loud and they realize they're on top of a T-Rex. They're all scared and freaked out and the T-Rex does everything that the dinosaurs do in their little dance. And then the dinosaur wants to join in. T-Rex ain't so scary after all. And then in the end, it says, the little one was sleeping now, me too, the T-Rex said. Then everybody copy me, said Tom, it's time for bed. Yawn, 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 let's do the dinosaur. One, two, three, and everybody snore. Lots of fun for our dino-loving kids, which I know we have one in here. This book is $12.99. Highly recommend it. It's got those thicker pages that aren't quite board book pages, but are very thick and sturdy. Love it. Usborn released Jigsaw Puzzles and Books not too long ago. Um, this I like because it's one of the versions that are condensed and smaller for our younger kids. Most of the Jigsaw Puzzles I believe that we have now are around 75 to 100 pieces, so more for that like 8 and older range. Um, this one is a Christmas one. It comes with this nice sturdy box. This is $12.99. 
It comes with a cute little Winter Wonderland book. Very simple, very vivid colors. Lots of fun to look through. Little activities on each page. And then it also comes with three jigsaw puzzles. So you got, whoop, that one's upside down. You got three jigsaw puzzles. Um, as you can see, they're each pretty thick and sturdy. Um, the pieces are decent sized, 12 pieces a piece. Perfect size, in my opinion, for our littles. I saved my most favorite for last. This book is called Santa Post. We also have Dragon Post and Beast Feast. Dragon Post, the letters that are inside are removable, so keep that in mind. The Beast Feast has the, the letters enclosed in the book as well. These are $14.99. Um, highly worth it in my opinion. Um, I'm saving this one for Weston for Christmas. And this one is all about a girl named Amy who just before Christmas, a couple sleeps before Christmas, decides to send Santa a letter. It comes down his chimney or post as you will. So to Santa, hello and hooray. It's almost Christmas again. Hope you have had a most wonderful year full of jingles and bells. I was wondering, could I please have, it's burnt out, for Christmas. It is what I want for Christmas most in the whole world. Love, Amy. P.S. My house is the one with the blue door. The book goes through and it's all about Santa trying to figure out what Amy's Christmas wish is. He sends a letter to the elves. They write a letter back. He sends a letter to, uh, this is from the polar bear, and sends back a polar bear sized sweater. He goes through and he reaches out to everybody trying to get ideas back for Amy's perfect gift. In the end, Santa can't think of anything else and ends up just giving her a white Christmas and building a snowman. Then Santa gets a letter from Amy after Christmas to Santa. Hello and Merry Christmas. I just wanted to say a big thank you for all the snow I asked for and my wonderful snowman friend. We've been playing in tea parties outside all day. Santa, you are the best and today is the best Christmas ever. Oodles and buckets of love, Amy XXX. P.S. For Christmas next year, could I please have and there's tea spilled on it. I think this is a very sweet little story. Also love that it involves Santa and a little girl and the little letters inside are just creative in my opinion. So I hope that that helped you guys out with coming up with some ideas for books. If you have any questions or need any more recommendations or haven't sent me your kids' information for recommendations, uh, please reach out. I am more than happy to help with absolutely anything, so don't hesitate to ask. And enjoy the rest of the party.